All right, welcome back to Board Reviews. The Jode's there. And the Nickmeister there. Yeah, the Nickmeister. And we are excited to start another journey with 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. We are on Season 3 still, Episode 2. If you missed it, we did Episode 1 not too long ago. We did the Carrot the Box. We've done a few other ones. And I'm excited to see if I can come close or possibly get one of these correct. I hope you can. I'm just, I'm just going to participate. <laughs> She's going to cheerlead for me. Mm -hmm. She's already defeated. Yep. And uh, with all that being said, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump into this first part if you're new to this. We're going to do this in three parts. Um, if we were smart, we would equally plan out the time, but we're not. So it's going to be until it's a natural time to stop. Come back tomorrow and then the next day for the other two parts. Thank you so much. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. I didn't mess up any of the talking, man. I'm so proud of what you. What is this? I... Why do you have 35 sheets? Because this is like the ultimate padding. I mean, look at this. It's like it's Mrs. Doubtfire beautiful. said. This is beyond obsession. And I'm sure he was quoting someone else. All right, here we go. Tonight on 8 Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, John Richardson, Sean Luck, Miles Jump, Ashling B. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Susie Dent. And I love her and accent. Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy Fallon. Oh. Hello, and welcome to 8 Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers, and conundrums. Did you know, for example, the average Brit knows about 50,000 words, but for some reason they can't remember any of them whilst playing along with Countdown? <laughs> Americans, Americans call mathematics math, arguing that mathematics functions as a singular noun, so math should be singular too. But then again, they also call bums fanny, so what do they know? <laughs> we understand that, Jimmy. And the world record for the most swear words in a television programme is 201 in a half hour, and that's the last time Sean's getting invited on Loose Women. Right, <laughs> <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> I gotta say, I wasn't the biggest fan of him when he first started reacting to it, but now I love him. Okay, yeah. let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's John Richardson. <laughs> John describes himself as a double door checker, as he's paranoid his front door isn't locked. Don't worry, John, pretty sure it's locked. You definitely locked it, right? <laughs> Don't start because I wasn't the last one out today. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Can you smell gas? <laughs> Did you lock the door, though, when you... Well, no, I didn't, cos she's still in and she's told me to stop locking the door when she's in. <laughs> Have you genuinely locked people in the house? If she's asleep, I'll double-lock the door. <laughs> anyway, if John switched off the stair lift, there's no way she can come down anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I always lock the house when I leave, so if you want to start a And joining John tonight, it's Ashling B. Ashling. I never heard that name before. Wonderful to have Ashley B with us tonight. Usually when Channel 4 feature a young Irish woman, she's wearing a dress like a Christmas tree and marrying a scrap metal dealer. <laughs> Up against them this evening is Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean's the kind of guy you'd want on your side in a fight, particularly if that fight was with John Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean's teammate this evening is Miles Jupp. <laughs> He doesn't familiar. Miles studied divinity at Edinburgh University, where he got an A, men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time you were on, Miles, you were yeah. frankly appalling. You were terrible at this game. Have you been practising? Have you got any better? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was very scolded by what happened last time, and I went away and I thought to myself, you know, I, I can either focus on paying the mortgage and enabling my children to eat, or I could get really shit hot at a load of letters and numbers games that have no practical use in the real world. There was no... <laughs> it was not, not a difficult decision. <laughs> Are you saying you've got better or not? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not reveal that yet. OK. And how does it feel to be back? Are you happy to be back? Oh, oh. What, I mean, what a buzz already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about having Miles on your team, Sean? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's great to be back with uh, one of life's winners. Um, <laughs> uh, have you got a game plan? Yeah. My game plan tonight is, you know, 
yeah, puzzles, uh, quizzes and all that. But the most important thing is to bring a little ray of sunshine into somebody's miserable, lonely life. <laughs> Doesn't matter how ill you are, how sad you are, how lonely you feel. If I can bring a little momentary light, a flicker of <laughs> happiness into your dismal, bleak, <laughs> endless misery. If you want to cheer someone miserable up, just let John win. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like the idea you say. Ashley, did I have Countdown in Ireland? Yes, I've actually never watched Countdown before. Because I'm not a nerd! Um, no, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be brilliant at it, and I think with John, I'm on the same team. I think we're, I think we're in, with a really good chance of winning. I it agree. It sound like we're on the yeah. same team with all your nerd chat. <laughs> <laughs> be on uh, John's team. I think it's going to go really well. There's no I in genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miles, Sean, have you got mascots? Oh, uh, yes. Got what have you got? Yeah, I've got... Um, this is actually... This, it's been in the family for years. This is a... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Since I was very young, my my, um, <laughs> my, uh, my, my granddad gave me this. He, he was given it himself by uh, a sort of wise woman in a in a souk in uh, in northern Africa. And uh, he says this. I don't know who this cheeky chap is, but always bring you luck. <laughs> this I put this on my desk when I did my GCSEs. <laughs> so he was there for all of them. About five general anesthetics. <laughs> just always. It just right, means birth of your children. Yeah, it just means. Yeah, it looks like the photo of... they'll put on Sean's coffin when he dies. <laughs> oh, well, it does. Uh, Sean, do you have a picture. I don't have a mascot. Instead, I've gone for a coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> I find when I lose, which I will lose, there's ways of dealing with it. You can get upset, you go, oh, I'm no good at this. Or you can just blow all your troubles away. <laughs> And a few bubbles can make you put a lot of things into perspective. <laughs> I have one of those in my classroom, and every now and then I'll walk around and blow bubbles. You would. I do. The, the kids love it. They can't wait to pop up. Oh my gosh. I'm better at it than he is. Oh, look at our asses. Oh, there we go. And that I find quite soothing. Ooh. Yeah, there's John, the do you have a mascot? He's managed to catch. Caught two of his bubbles. <laughs> you caught two of his bubbles? Oh. You want to the soap water? Why does everything I touch die? He's <laughs> <laughs> holding too tightly around the neck. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was the real me for a minute then. <laughs> right, John, what have you got mascot wise? I've gone a different way this week. Uh, to incentivise myself to victory, I've actually been sponsored this week by my local curry house, uh, <laughs> Nando's. No. No. The sad story of uh, Nando's is that they were there before Nando's, and Nando's actually set up next door, and it was Nando's that caught on. And uh, so I feel really sorry for the guys at Nando's. <laughs> Nando sounds great. If I get any points from curry-related words, they'll give me a free curry this evening. <laughs> well, best of luck with that. <laughs> Ashley, have you got a mascot? Yes, I have brought a picture of my mammy. Aww. With me as a baby. My mother loves language and English, and she especially loves punctuation. Um, she'll kind of throw it in anywhere, like she's mad for an inverted comma. So as you see here, it's myself and my mother, Irish, both wearing green. And on the back she has, Ashling and Helen, we were always proud to be Irish and loved wearing green. <laughs> and she does it on my birthday card. She writes things like, um, happy birthday to my wonderful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, mother? <laughs> did your mum used to be a jockey? She did used to be a jockey, no, yes. That's not a euphemism, that's like a real you, question. No. <laughs> yeah, I was just a result of a ride that went too far. Oh. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, over in Dictionary Corner, we've got Nick Helm. Nick is the thinking woman's comedian. If the woman in question is thinking, I wish that comedian would stop staring at me, he's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> that man 
does it feel to be back, sitting next to Susie? I don't know, Susie. How does it feel having me back? It's all cool now, don't worry. It's fine, I'm fine, I'm over it. Oh, good. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're all right with it, that's fine then. Um, have you learned any new words, Nick, since you were so last on the show? This is so awkward. Okay. So hard. Yes, I've this learnt a new thing. word. It's a lovely word. Repudiation. Repudiation. Rep Everyone eat repudiation. Repudiation. Yeah. It's, nice, it's nice, it's nice. It makes me feel good. I'm sure it makes me feel good. It's another word for rejection. Rejection. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, it's a lovely Susie Dent. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you wrote a book about the origins of some English words. Do you have any favourites? Oh, I did some great research in Scotland about um, a man called Andrew Carr. He was left-handed, as so he built this castle that was designed for left-handed soldiers, so they would surprise the enemy. And so there are 150 terms for being left-handed in this small area in Scotland, and one of them is, is car-fisted. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots, lots of variations. So what, a castle just for left-handed soldiers? Yes. That surely Spiral was a euphemism, was it, back in the day? <laughs> this is just for the left-handed boys? <laughs> <laughs> OK, and in charge of the numbers is Rachel Riley. Rachel was really brainy at school. She got more A's than a scouser trying to break up a fight. Rachel, you're a big Manchester United fan. What's more tense and exciting, watching Man U play or watching these guys play Countdown? There's just no comparison. <laughs> <laughs> this is more like I used to play Sunday League football and sometimes they had a beer at half time. This kind of feels more like that. Sorry. <laughs> You used to play Sunday league football yeah. and used to have a pint at half-time. We didn't do very well. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like... I mean, I've never really been interested in going to see the football before, but... Yeah. Now... It, was, it wasn't as... <laughs> if you're interested in getting into football, you should go and watch Man United this year. It's really funny, they're shit. <laughs> OK, tonight, the prize the teams will be competing for is this, the Countdown Commemorative Plate. <laughs> Thank God. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> Horrible. Can you uh, put it in a dishwasher? No. <laughs> is dishwasher safe? <laughs> OK, everyone, let's count down. Time for our first game. Sean and Miles, you get the first pick of the letters. OK. Vowel. E. Easy. Vowel. O. Vowel. A. Let's go. Vowel. <laughs> o. Consonant. H. Consonant. G. Consonant. Please. D. If you may be so kind, <laughs> I would like a consonant. T. And just for luck, I'll have a consonant. <laughs> Yes. Okay, for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Okay, yeah, she's still finishing. I guess I'm stuck on my foot. She well, says, I misspelled it. I was going to finish that word. No, I don't think hot dog is a compound word, but if it was, six letters, baby. Uh, I got um, photo at the last second. Uh, That's I just, my biggest. I sucked. No, uh, you got some fives. You got more fives than I got. Podge, paged. Oh, ED, what was I thinking? I could unhooted. Um, we both got goat. <laughs> yeah, I got good as well. Now, I was wondering, like, could you spell... Anyway, I, like, what's the new spelling for goat if somebody's amazing at Is it G-O-A-T? Yeah, greatest I... of all time. Yeah, okay. It's just an acronym. Yeah, yeah.
All right, so five. We both got five. I had six. We count hot dog. I think we should. I think we should. That'd be so distracting if you were there. So distracting. Distracting. I don't even look up. Distracting. <laughs> Uh, what have you got, John? I have a six. <gasps> okay. Miles? She's so uh, seven. Oh. What? Five, six, and a seven. Sean, sure. what have you got? You haven't got a seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got an eight. <laughs> Wait. Well, the numbers round is not looking good. <laughs> It is a seven, it is a seven. <laughs> What's that? Is it all, it all, all okay. be revealed. Okay. <laughs> I've got a five. <laughs> you got a five. Okay. What's your five, Ashley? Oh, at paged. John, you're six. That was mine. Yeah. When I go for a curry, Jimmy. <laughs> Sometimes I pop down Nandos, I have a curry. I don't know if I mentioned it. Uh, some of the sauces are very thin. Unusually, I would like to have spooned my curry onto the plate, but sometimes I come out and I've had to have gooped it. <laughs> <laughs> gooped. Gooped, Susie. Appropriately, it's just there as a noun meaning a stupid person. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Right, Sean. Well, I had a five, and then I spotted a six. Gated is my five, but of course you could have had goated. <laughs> You've been goated. <laughs> what, what's goated mean? To be, to be goated. When you're goated, when you... you... <laughs> In certain satanic rituals, yep. there's a need to turn you into a goat, and then you go... Oh, we have yeah. goated him, we've it. turned him yeah. into a goat. Nick, is that true of satanic ritual? Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Nick. It's <laughs> 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 You can have rules, are you, Susie? Gonna play it by the rules. Gonna check if it's right. Glory. What a second risk. Let's have a bit of fun. Put the goat in. Leave her alone! Um you can be a goat, obviously. You can be a lecherous man if you're a goat, but also you can be a stupid person. <laughs> But you can't goat somebody. You can't be goated. No. Yeah. What about if you're making love very vigorously? You say you go at it. <laughs> Miles, one um, through seven. My word, it was uh, photoed. Ah, very good. Ah, That's brilliant. Photoed. Photoed, yeah. Doesn't sound right. It's sort of old fashioned. I was isn't photoed. It? It's old fashioned. Yeah. Amazing it's that Miles got that. Well done. Oh. <laughs> So, seven points for Miles there. Well, nice. Ah. Thank you. Nick, Susie, what, what could they have done? Well, they could have had pothead. <laughs> <laughs> but they missed it. <laughs> pothead. <laughs> <Come on>, pothead. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man. Numbers round, okay, John. Right. Your turn to pick the numbers. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, right now we're tied, five and five. Ones, so two big ones, two big ones, four little ones. ones. Yeah, two big ones. Chosen. Two mains and four sides. <laughs> <laughs> All of these should be on the takeaway menu if you want to count it. Excellent. Number ten. Yeah. Garlic now. Number six. <laughs> Garlic. Pilar <laughs> rice. Number five. Alu Gilby. Number nine. Sagalu. <laughs> Number 50. Oh, chicken korma lamb jow Seven twelve. Yeah. Your time starts now. That <laughs> <laughs> cuts his numbers. You're gonna chill out for a so second. I can't be that fast. Yeah, you're gonna chill out for a second. You hear me? I don't appreciate that kind of pressure. I think I'm onto something, but we'll see. Oh, I'm really excited for you to be onto something. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> you're ridiculous. <laughs> I can't wait. 712. She's such a jerk. Um. Ah! I 
and get 719. <laughs> I was not onto something. Um. Oh, hold on. Hold I don't on, know hold what on, I'm doing. I'm just, if I did 50 plus I'm 25. Okay, 50 plus 25 is 75. Times that by 10, that's 750. Okay, so 10, 20, and 25. Now, what I have left are these numbers right here. 14, 20, so that's 730. Um, take away 45, that's... Oh, I can get a, I can get 711. Oops, something just fell. Um, will you stop being yourself for two seconds of your life? No, no, I'm getting it. I got it. I almost got it. Oh, I can get so close. So close. So close. I like messing this up. It's too, too bumpy. No, I can't do it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I can't do it. I got it. No, you. <laughs> so ridiculous. It's just dirt pictures. You're a failure. Time's up. John, did you get it? I got 715. <gasps> 715, okay. Uh, Ashley, how'd you do? 679. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely having you here. <laughs> Miles. Uh, 711. That's what I got with 711. <laughs> Sean. 715. <laughs> Miles. 711. How'd you get it? Oh. <laughs> 50 plus 25 yep. is okay. uh, 75, am I That's right? 50 plus off. 25, yeah, 75. Yeah. Okay. What I've done is I've times that by 10. For 750. 750, and then I times 5 by 6, and that's 30. Yeah. I subtract that from 750, and then I take off the 9, and that gives me 711. Yeah, that's what I mean. yeah very good, one away. So, seven points to Miles. <laughs> Let's go. No, this one's impossible. <gasps> but one away is a good effort. Wait, no, so it's not always possible to get to the number at the top? No. Who's in there behind? Just a man swinging them around. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a random number generator and they're just tiles, so some of them are impossible. I thought it was done by a computer. Yeah, that really no? looks like a computer. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that, John and Ashling have no points. Sean and Miles have 14. Wow. So you technically won. Yeah, you but I had way more time. Won. He got it done in the, the 30 seconds. I had like That's a minute true. and a half. That's true. But, but still. we got to the same one. So there was no way to do it, so it makes me feel a little bit better. I always give myself more time. It's It's been allowed. But um, I'm surprised. I thought that the, the, them two, I can't speak. I was going to say the two of them. I thought the two of them on our right, John and Ashlyn, were going to just dominate. But Miles, they said he was the worst last time. He Never saw the episode. Amazing. He's killing it right now. For amazing. Sean's not the best player on the episodes I've seen so far. Okay, Sean and I, we're like, we're like the same. But Team Sean. You got to have him there for the personality and all that kind of stuff. So for we're going to sure. go ahead and end part one right now. Um, love this show. Love playing along. I don't know what I love more, watching them and talking back and forth or playing along. I think just because I'm such a competitive person, probably playing along is a little more fun. But it is good. It's like they say, like, you're not going to use this in the real world. No. But when you're, these guys are on the spot right here. Um... We hope you enjoyed it. I'm rambling here. If you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.